The American lobster is an iconic fixture throughout its geographic range from Atlantic Canada to New England. It is the target of one of the largest single species fisheries in the eastern United States. In many areas, the continued success of this fishery is attributed to a variety of management measures, including biological controls intended to conserve brood stock. These regulations include minimum and maximum size limits, protection for egg-bearing females, and prohibition on the harvest of V-notched females that are considered proven breeders. The future of the lobster fishery depends in part on a healthy supply of new recruits that are dependent on the success of the lobster's mating system. However, the heavily exploited nature of this fishery, similar to other crustacean fisheries worldwide, may influence the reproductive dynamics of this species. Therefore, the goal of this work was to develop a simple, non-invasive method for ascertaining the mating success of sexually mature female lobsters. The sex of a lobster is best distinguished by looking at their ventral surface. Seen on the left is a female, characterized primarily by the first pair of pleopods, which are flat and feathery. Females also have an oval-shaped seminal receptacle in which they store the spermatophore passed by the male. The male is shown on the right, identifiable by the first pair of pleopods that are somewhat conical and hardened. These gonopods assist with transferring the spermatophore to the female's seminal receptacle. Also shown are the male's gonopods.